Hi everyone, welcome to the session where we will learn about the Python tuples. And in this session, we will so in this session we will learn about the different ways to concatenate the Python tuples. What we are going to do is we'll I'll show you how to concatenate the tuples Python tuples using the plus operator, then using the sum function. Apart from this, I'll also show you some scenarios. Okay, like concatenate the tuples inside the tuple, tuple then concatenate tuples using the map function using the zip function concatenate tuples inside a list and uh, concatenate a tuple inside a list using join function followed by concatenating the consecutive tuples these are the real basics of uh, python tuples and if you do this you will be definitely having a have a lot of confidence so let's start what i will do is this is my scenario and then i i will show you how to achieve this like how to concatenate using the plus operator i have two tuples tuple one is the numeric tuples and tuple two is also numeric and then simply i need to concatenate these two tuple and what how to achieve this so these are my tuples which i have already created i don't want to waste time so just i have created now these are my tuple one this is tuple one and this is tuple two and i want to simply concatenate it using the plus function so i will say Now, if I execute this, my tuples are concatenated. Whatever I wanted to achieve, this is what through by using the simply simple plus operator we can achieve it. So after this, if I say I have a tuple which is of string and the other tuple which is which is a numeric integer, suppose this is an integer. How to concatenate it? So simply what we will do. These are my two tuples. So what I will say is I will copy this, okay, and then I'll say method two, okay. And then I will say here movie tuple plus release here. Okay. And then I will simply go and comment this. Now the moment I will execute these two lines of code, this okay, what will happen? We will get a new our concatenate tuple wherein we have the strings followed by the numbers, integers basically. Okay. So this scenario is all also covered. After this, this is my third scenario, wherein I will achieve the same result, but we will achieve it by using some function. We will not use a plus operator. We will simply use function. And how do we achieve this using some function? So in the meantime, what I will do, I will copy this. Okay, I will copy this and I will comment this two lines. Of code. Then we are left with only this, right? So what we will do in order to concatenate using the sum function. I will pass these two parameters inside a sum function. Okay, I'll say sum and then I'll pass these two parameters. Now, if I execute this, what happens? It will show me, throw me the error. Okay, so what we need to do, we need to, what is the error? Only concatenate tuple, not string to tuple. So, what we'll do, we'll again pass on this, comma, and then we'll say an empty tuple. So, it will concatenate this empty with whatever is present here. Okay, and now if you execute this, you can see here whatever was the the same objective, uh, the same uh, target what we wanted to achieve with the method one, method two, we have achieved it using the method three, basically using the sum function. One and two is same, but three is using the sum function we have achieved, right? So if you don't give an empty tuple, it won't uh, concatenate. Basically, it will consider this as one. And this will concatenate with the empty tuple. So the next, the next uh, functionality what we are going to try is concatenate the tuples inside a tuple. So these are my two tuples, and what it will do? It will form two tuple. This is like my, if you see the this bracket and the last bracket, this is one tuple. Inside you have the two tuples. Okay. So how do we achieve this? Method four, and then we'll say concatenate tuples inside a tuple concatenate tuple inside a tuple. So how do we achieve this? We will simply remove this sum function and the empty tuples and then we will execute this. It is it what it will do. It will simply create two tuples inside a this is if you see here. What is this? This is an empty tuple. Now if you place those two tuple inside an empty tuple, then it will be nothing but it will be two tuples inside a big tuple. So if you execute this, 
you can see here right okay i have not commented first let me comment and then we will execute this again you can see here this from here till here is one tuple and this is the second tuple right okay so till here i believe i am able to make you understand the logic of this tuple concatenation okay after this the next functionality is to concatenate the tuples using a map function like i have this tuple big uh, tuple with the names of the movies okay hollywood movies and the followed by and this is the second tuple which in which we have the year in which it was released okay so what i want is each movies to be concatenated with the respective year when it was like it will be a mapping titanic will be concatenated with 1997 matrix is 1999 and so on how do we achieve this for this we will simply use a map function okay so we will comment the previous code and then we will delete this and then in order to use the join uh, like uh, in order to use the map function what we need to do we need to import from operator import concat we'll say fine uh, concat tuple is equals to what we'll say is we'll say map and we'll pass the concat whatever we have imported and then we need to pass the two tuples one is movies tuple and followed by the release release here okay now after this what we'll do we'll simply print this okay so what this will give this will simply give me the map object so what you need to do is you need to provide this will this need to be passed inside a tuple okay if you execute this now it will throw you error why because my release year is not string so for that we need to convert our release year into string so we will take this and then we need to come here okay and we need to just convert this into string and then you pass this again at uh, okay okay so if we execute this now what will happen we get whatever we wanted to achieve like this is the way we wanted titanic to be concatenated with 1997 the year in which it was released and and so on so you can see we have achieved exactly what we wanted to print the next topic is how to concatenate tuples using the zip function my target is like this is my tuple 1 and this is tuple 2 i want to create a nested tuples wherein titanic will be there it will create a tuple which will have titanic followed by the year 1997 matrix with the year 1999 and so on so how do we achieve this so for this we will need to use the zip function we will comment this and then we will start with our method number 6 this is 6 for using the zip function it's very simple what we have to do is we have to pass it will also like we will uh we'll give say zip and then we have the two tuples movie tuple and release here okay and then we'll print this okay if we execute this what we'll get so again we'll get the object because we are not using the tuple we are just passing the zip function okay so for this we'll just use here tuple to be ready okay now if you execute this you will get whatever we wanted to tuple 1 and tuple 2 and i wanted to create a tuple element wise titanic to be mapped with 1997 matrix with 1999 and so on we have achieved this after this after this our next uh, target is to concatenate tuples inside a list okay comment these two line and then we'll say uh, tuples inside list so we'll say this is nothing but an empty list if you see this is nothing but an empty list right uh, inside this will pass our two tuples we'll say exactly okay if we execute this 
So you can see this is my first tuple inside the list followed by this is the second tuple, right? So very easily we have like we can uh, concatenate uh, like get a very easily we can concatenate a tuple inside a list. After this, okay. So now our next topic is to concatenate the tuples inside a list using join. And this is my input tuple one and tuple two, and the output is Titanic will be joined with concatenate with matrix with the concatenate with Skyfall, and all, all of the like uh, strings will have a space when they are concatenated. So how we will do? So if you just think we need to use a looping here, iteration. So for that we'll use a for loop, and we will use the existing tuple list. Okay. So for that what we'll do? We'll say concat suppose the any name wire join which is equals to dot join dot join okay and then what we'll say for tuples something for tuple any name tuple inside list and since we are using it for tuples inside this inside the join function we will pass this tuples okay fine after this we will okay we will execute this and we will say print this will be dot join okay not comma now if you execute this what will happen ideally it should fail yeah because what we are trying here the same case when we have when we were using the map function we were passing the release here which was string so what we'll do just before this just before this we'll pass release here and then we'll say tuples inside okay okay and we'll comment these two lines so now if you see here my release here is string movies is also a string and it will not face it ideally it should not face any issue while concatenating so if you execute this you can see concatenate tuple via join you can see titanic followed by matrix followed by skyfall followed by joker everything is being concatenated and it has a space and again also you can see the next tuple also there and it has a right you can see here the target is achieved now the next and the last topic of the day okay we need to concatenate the consecutive tuples we have all these movies right we will not take the uh, okay just ignore this tuple two here okay so we have this uh, titanic matrix skyfall joker so what we need to do is concatenate the consecutive titanic will be concatenated with matrix matrix you can see here right Titanic matrix then matrix will be concatenated with skyfall skyfall will be concatenated with joker and so on how do we achieve this so the last topic of the day we will we will control slash so we have our movie tuples is already there right and then what we need to do is we need to simply run a for loop because for loop is the so we'll say output underscore tuple which will be equals to what we need to do is we need to i plus j what we are doing we are adding right so that's what i am saying i plus j for i comma j in zip of movie tuples comma i am taking the first element followed by the next element movie tuples and then one colon indexing is my next topic which i will be explaining see what i am trying here is it was looping okay i comma j in zip okay so zip movie so it will take the first element and it will take the second element and then it will simply zip them okay now if you execute this that's what i expected we did not pass tuple because we need to provide a tuple so at the end also we need one bracket is missing now it should work fine okay if you execute this now you can see titanic is being concatenated with matrix the next member the next member is matrix and after that it's skyfall these two movies name are being contacted and so so that's it for the session so in this session what did we cover the so first of all what we cover is how to contact it using the plus operator then how to contact plus operator and on top of the numeric uh, concatenating the string tuple with a numeric tuple okay then i've shown you concatenate using the sum function then concatenate the tuples inside the sub tuple followed by concatenating the tuples using the map function zip function then we i have shown you the concatenate tuples inside a list which is followed by uh, concatenating the tuples inside a list using join function and finally after that i have shown you how to concatenate the consecutive tuples and so thanks a lot for watching the session if you feel this video is helpful please press the like button and subscribe to this channel and also please help me by referring my videos to your friends 
so that I will gain subscriber. Okay, so that will help me. So I will see you in my next video, which is related to the tuples indexing. So I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.